What up, people? I'm at work. I had my hair down. Looks like a mess, but I had to put it up because it's too hot. It's beautiful out. My life is great, but my work life is not great. And I have been fighting this decision um, because, one, I just don't want to start over again, but I'm going to. I am hitting the job market hard all week. And I'm fucking done with this place. Um... Good luck to them. I'm not giving them any more of my energy. I don't even know if I'm going to finish my work today. Over it. They don't appreciate nothing. They don't pay for the amount of work I do. I'm paying $410 a month for a medical insurance as they continue to dick me around. Even though I asked about it at my interview months ago. They had someone here for 12 years and he never got insurance. I'm not staying. Shit's expensive. Like, I'll go take a pay cut. Sorry, I'm on the edge. The airport is right next to us, so we hear jets and planes all day. But, like, know your worth. I know my fucking worth. I'm working way too hard for the money they're paying me and the shit I'm dealing with. I'm broke half the time having to pay out of my pocket because I am white, I am not married, and I have no dependents. And that's not racist, that's just a tax thing. If you're white in this fucking country, you don't get much if you don't have a dependent as far as help or anything. So my insurance is a lot higher than somebody with children or someone who's married. It's the same for old people who are widowed. You know, they, give, they don't give a fuck about white people when they say we're the racists. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like crazy. I'm just exhausted. You know, they hired someone else on and we're supposed to be bouncing back and forth. But no one can keep up in the back. I'm the only one that's keeping up in the back. And I have a serious fucking health crisis and everyone likes to down fucking play it. But meanwhile, my health is... I'm paying out of pocket for and they're delaying my recovery by putting so much on my fucking plate. Meanwhile, the new people want to bitch about, oh, it ain't that hard back there. But you ain't been back here since you started. When you, when I had you come back and learn the fucking cameras, you learn one thing back there. You think you know everything. I'm sick of these motherfuckers. I train you. I give you a fucking go. And then they just turn into fucking spiteful bitches. You know, I'm sick of the evil eye. Fuck this place. I will work in a factory where I don't have to talk to anyone. There's $23.50 or $23.50 an hour jobs right now. You think I give a fuck about being here? I just didn't want to go back to 10 hour shifts and working majority of the fucking time. But you know what? I'm going to go back to having three days off in a row with insurance, making more money an hour with less fucking bullshit. You know, employers that take care of things <laughs> and don't just abandon you in a different country when they fuck up. Over it. Sick of it. Don't work for other countries. I thought it, the grass would be greener on the other side. It's worse. America's a dick to you, but at least they're a dick to your face. Everyone else is sneaky, scandalous liars. Over and out. Enjoy this beautiful day. I'm just saying, damn it, I gotta go back to the drawing board. Life's too fucking short to let a job change you or make you miserable. I know my worth. I'm not taking less than I fucking deserve. Than I deserve. I know a job will pay me right. I know that I don't have to stress. I could go to a job, shut my mouth, do my job, and go the fuck home. I tolerated too much shit here for nothing. You don't value me, you don't appreciate me, you get zero of my time or effort. Watch a bitch <laughs> straight up not give a fuck. When you treat me like a slave, I rebel. I don't like it. I was not put on this fucking earth to fall in line. Unless it's morally and doing the right thing, of course. This is not morally right. I'm taking less than my deserve and I, I'm frustrated with myself because I need to put my health first and I need a company that understands a fucking brain injury. You look normal doesn't mean I am normal. They don't fucking get that through their head. Put me in the fucking hospital last week from stress because my thing filled up with water again. That's 
stress related and I don't mean like emotional stress I mean I'm doing too much physical fucking activity body stress they don't fucking get it I'm not saying I'm mentally stressed out I'm saying my bodily body is physically being pushed to the fucking limits right now and you keep piling shit on my plate meanwhile whiny bitches want to bitch about how little I do and you don't expect me to want to rip someone in half too Irish for this fucking shit. Oh, love you. Bye. <laughs>